All right, so step one is to pick a niche, right? So how do you pick a niche? Well, the easiest two ways to pick a niche are to start with something that you're good at already or something that you're interested in already, okay? That means that you're gonna have a leg up on the competition because you already have inside knowledge of obviously how to create videos about that, what people are interested in within that niche, how to create specific subtopic and niche topic videos that people might be searching for that aren't gonna occur to somebody that just finds that specific topic but doesn't have a background or an interest in it. So those are the two best ways to get started. It's really a no-brainer because what I'm good at is gonna be very different than what you're good at, good at, and vice versa, okay? So pick something that you're good at already or pick something that you're interested in already. Or you can simply search YouTube to get ideas. So if you wanna find other automation channels that are already successful, you wanna model them, but do not copy them. And this is key because obviously if you just simply copy them, you're never gonna be able to do it better than them. So model them, use it for your own channel, but then obviously don't exactly copy them, all right? Also, if you pick a passionate niche, it's, e it's gonna be easier to grow in the beginning because that's gonna get you more engagement within the comment section. It's also gonna bring more people and more eyes to your videos. Or you wanna pick something that already has interest. And this could be an and as well, right? It could be a passionate niche that already has interest too, but you want to pick something that already has interest and is already getting views on YouTube. Okay. The niche should be narrow enough that YouTube can find a specific avatar viewer for your video topics so that they can serve them to them. Right. And then you'll get repeat viewers from that person because typically what people think is you create videos and then people come find your videos, but that's not typically what happens. What typically happens is YouTube already knows everybody's avatar, what they're interested in, what vi uh, videos they're more likely to click on and watch through. And so if you can find a specific avatar person or an avatar viewer, that's going to be interested in, in something. And you can do that basically by identifying other videos and other and other channels that are already successful on YouTube within that topic and serving that audience and then model them, you know that YouTube's pretty much has a high likelihood of serving your videos to that same audience so it can be successful, okay? While it should be narrow enough, obviously, to serve to that specific avatar person, it also should be broad enough that you can branch out to other subtopics and you can create hundreds of videos at the minimum on that, all right? Because if it's too narrow, you're obviously gonna run out of video ideas. So if we just go to YouTube and browse a little bit, obviously the easiest ways to find things is these, these topics up here because YouTube is literally telling you what people are interested in and that these are already categories that have subtopics, subcategories that you can create uh, hundreds of videos in, but obviously there's a lot of interest already on the platform. So what I would recommend if you're really strapped for ideas, if you don't know already what you're good at or what you're interested in, or you don't have any ideas after browsing YouTube for other automation channels and, and mimicking and mimicking other channels that are already successful, just simply browse these topics up here and try to pick something within a relative subcategory of these topics, right? So for example, if you like golf, well, go to golf and see what other topics within golf you can make a channel on. You can make a golf you know, tip channel. And obviously that's gonna be hard as YouTube automation because you need to keep in mind that like something like a golf channel, people like to see the actual person swinging. So that might be a little bit more tough, but something like tech might be really easy because you can just overlay videos or overlay pictures of the actual images of the product and then talk about it. You can use voiceovers to actually do that, right? Another example might be to compile like, you know, the top cryptocurrencies since clearly Bitcoin is popping off right now. So there's a number of different ways, but obviously I don't want to go too much into within one because everybody's going to pick a different topic based on what they're interested in or they already have knowledge about. And also browse a little bit and then you'll be able to kind of niche down and narrow down. But again, you want it to be broad enough where you can create at least a few hundred videos on it so you don't run out of video ideas.